You see, it's one thing to watch horror movies, and it is another thing to live it. You may think horror movies don't freak you, but have you tried visiting one of the top 10 scariest haunted places on Earth? Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest haunted places you've never heard of. Number 10, Poveglia Island, is ripped straight from a nightmare found in the Venetian lagoon between Venice and Lido. Poveglia has a heavy history, but not the type you want to teach to kids in school. From the mid-1700s to 1814, the island was used as a quarantine station to house the sick. And later on, it acted as a mental hostel which was later closed down in 1968. Imagine an island filled with people suffering from diseases and mental issues. One thing is for sure, death ran rampant on the island with so many isolated from society and their loved ones during the 17th century in order to let the people live here for 40 days in order to control whether they were healed by the plague or not. Put simply, Pavaglia has housed a century's worth of torment, sickness, and death and now has turned it into a hot spot for paranormal activity. I have footsteps, bro, for your life. Right in the heart of Mumbai, injure is the Dia Souza Chow. A Chow is not an island like Puviglia or a rich neighborhood. It is actually a low income residence, but said to be one of the most haunted areas in the country. The Chow is home to an unguarded well, and legend has it that a resident of the area fell into the well and died a slow, painful death before she died, cried for help for hours, but no come came. Locals now report seeing her spirit wandering around. Although some people say that she's harmless, I'm not sure you'll not want to test your luck. People still avoid the area at night terrified of the woman's wandering spirit. Al Jazeera Al Hamra. Walking through here, it's completely and utterly desolate. There's literally no signs of life, but there are numerous abandoned houses. Found in the northeastern tip of the United Arab Emirates is the abandoned ghost town of Al Jazeera Al Hamraya. But town was wasn't always like that. It was once a bubbling town that was home to hundreds of pearl fishers in the early 1800s, and it continued growing. But this growth was halted when the pearl market collapsed in the 1920s, and by 1968, the town was almost completely abandoned when most of the residents agreed to relocate to Abu Dhabi. It's crazy to think that this porch used to be someone's house and people used to live in it. Just seems like everyone just abandoned everything over. Overnight. It remains as such to this day, and the eerie atmosphere has given rise to numerous ghost stories. It is said that the deserted town is populated not by humans but by spirits known as jinns. You see, one thing about England is that you can find all sorts of buildings in it, literally all sorts. Nestled in small English market town of Wanton under the edge is the ancient Ram Inn, a building that was constructed back in the 12th century. The history of the ancient Ram is that it was built on a pagan worship insight. Funny enough, it was built to house construction company that was building the local church, but it later became an inn and pub. The building is really old, and it sure looks old, and I'm sure you know what it's like entering a really, really old building. We walked out to the stairs, point blank on the stairs, there it was the incubus. Incubus, that was the most terrifying thing we've seen. Those who religiously consume investigative paranormal shows might recognize the ancient Ram Inn, since it has been featured on the likes of Ghost Adventures and Most Haunted. Red Onion Saloon, those who wish to experience a genuine Wild West saloon should make their way to Alaska Skagway, to be exact. Here your six shooter, you'll be wanting the Cinerita pistols as well as everything house policy. A small borough, about 1,200 people, Skagway, is a hot tourist attraction in the summer and everybody flocks to the town's Red Onion Saloon. This saloon was built in 1897 when Skagway was in the midst of a gold rush. Nowadays tourists report smelling women's perfume wafting through the halls, perhaps a remembrance of the building's time as a bordello. No, we are no longer a bordello, think of it more as a social club. Others claim that the building is haunted by the spirit of a former madam named Lydia. Buildings are never a good haunted castle. This is an old gothic castle found in Bavaria dating to the mid to late 13th century. Eventually, the castle tragically fell into disrepair, but it underwent significant renovations throughout the late 80s that restored it to its former glory, and it is now open for tourism. Bulldog Castle is said to be haunted by the ghost of Clara von Helfenstein. The rather historically inaccurate legend says that Clara was killed by her husband after he discovered her sleeping with his nemesis. A cave is also located beneath the castle, and people reportedly hear hear strange noises coming from underneath its floors. Noises from the dark depths of a cave. Anyone else has chills. Number 4, Tao Dan Park. This one is in Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh Chai, a popular destination for residents and tourists alike. The park has a long history with the nearby Reunification Palace, having once been part of its grounds. Work on the area continued well into the 20th century complete with major additions like a pool and tennis court. The area was finally given over to Vietnam when French forces withdrew from the country in 1954 and 
became known as Nao Dan Park. Although the park looks really good and like a place you'll want to spend your evening, you should know that is haunted, or maybe a better way to put it, reported hunted. It's said that the ghost of a lovesick man wanders the park at night and frightens the locals. I don't know if it's the name, but there's always something about lighthouses. They always seem creepy. The Stogiston Lighthouse is found on Florida's Anastasia Island, just to the east of St. Augustine. This is an active lighthouse and was built in the early 1870s. It's a beautiful location, but don't let that fool you. It also has some dark secrets. The lighthouse has long been known for its supernatural activity, and it's been have been visited by numerous ghost hunters and paranormal programs. Let us know who's here with us. Where is that noise coming from? The lighthouse itself also functions as a museum and offers ghost tours to the public. At least they're making good use of their reputation. There's definitely some activity that's tripping that up. Lighthouses' castles just have a creepy aura about them. They're cold, old, and expansive castles, and they often have long histories of violence. Forget what Disney shows you, castles can be scary sometimes. Leap Castle is found in Central Ireland, and it was significantly destroyed in 1922 in the midst of the Irish Civil War. During renovations, workers discovered a dungeon containing three cartloads worth of human skeletons that had been impaled on wooden spikes. Unsurprisingly, Leap is the self-described world's most haunted castle. In the manuscripts in the halter, they've never understood what made life difficult in any way other than the letters now. It is said to contain a spirit that smells like a decaying corpse. Two ghost girls named Charlotte and Emily and a mysterious red lady who walk the castle with a dagger. We called it the governor's and she's usually around as well. There are two little girls that play around here that we need a lot and she's always with them and we felt she had something to do with her. Put simply, you don't want to be in here alone. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Soa, to read from the Javanese phrase for a thousand doors. Lying located in Java, Indonesia, was once the headquarters of the Dutch East Indies Railway Company. Construction began in 1904 and was completely finished by 1990. Unfortunately, the building has seen its fair share of death when Japanese forces invaded Indonesia during World War II. They took over Lalang Sewu and used its basement as a torture dungeon and execution chamber. Unsurprisingly, the building quickly earned a reputation and has long been thought of as a source of paranormal phenomena. Even Indonesia's Ministry of Tourism recognizes it as one of the country's most haunted locations. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.